Hi guys, it's Nicola with your monthly reads for May 2018. If you guys would like a personal read, you can hit me up on my email, intimatewithsomtarot at gmail.com, or you can book your read on my website, www.intimatewisdom.net. If you would like to buy a personal video, you can do that in my Shop Now section. If you guys would like instant access to me 24 hours a day, you can gain that through Instant Go. Type in www.instantgo.com slash intimatewisdom, or you can download it on your app store for my iPhone iOS user. You guys have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Hey, okay. Scorpio, it's Nicola. So we'll be doing your reading for May 2018. What messages do we have for Scorpio? Mm. What messages do we have for Scorpio? May 2018. Messages for Scorpio. May 2018. Let's see what we're pulling up. got some new love coming but some of you guys are feeling trapped by either another situation or either you're trapped by your circumstances like where you are we got the moon card as the underlying energy so this does represent some type of secrets this represents um things happening beyond the scenes maybe fears that you're holding um in regards to something you could be dealing with the pisces as well okay so in the main re or in the the <laughs> in the center of the read we got the Eight of Swords. So we're talking about someone that feels trapped by their own emotions. This is someone who's fighting their inner demons or their own thoughts. Why is this Eight of Swords here? Hmm. And what's... um Scorpio, what's even crazier about this when i pull the clarification it's the eight of swords again so you literally got the eight of swords clarifying the eight of swords this is telling me that you are seriously either trapped in a situation like physically trapped in a situation where you can't move um you may have to wait take your time we got tempers card up under there so this it is telling you wait for the perfect timing but some of you guys may literally be trapped in a situation with the hierophant maybe you're married this could be a marriage that you're trapped in and maybe there's someone else okay so for a lot of you guys you're trapped in a marriage and there's someone else that you're um wanting to connect with with the ace of wands this new opportunity may have prevented may have presented itself but it's in conflict with your current situation some of you guys, this is just a mental feeling trapped, and it's a strong feeling of being trapped, okay? Maybe even being trapped by religious reasons as to why you can't be with this person. We got the nine of wands, the nine of wands, so this is like not giving up. Um, maybe the connection you have right now, mm. okay, maybe, okay, this is what I'm getting from this. Because I got the Nine of Swords, the Devil card, and the Judgment card on top of this Ace of Wands, so there is a new opportunity, but Spirit is basically asking you to not give up okay with the um double card maybe you're obsessing about the situation or maybe a lustful um attraction you'll get a second chance at something or at a, at a love i believe you'll get a second chance at this situation at this love situation um if you are connected with someone i would recommend legally because we got the justice card legally you know separating yourself from that person if there is a legal separation like get yourself out of the situation that you're in because this could be literally trapped like if you guys share a house or something you might be trapped and there's some discontentment with this as well that four of cups there's someone that's very unhappy about the situation all right so we got the eight of wands in the in the um crown and energy this does tell me that things are taking like flight with you like either things are moving at a fast pace you got a lot of energy coming in why is this eight of wands here because I'm just going to keep talking. Let's see why it's here. Why is this eight of wands here? Tell me where your love lies. That's why it's here. It's popped up in my head. Yep. So some of you guys, are your, either your loyalty is being questioned in a relationship. And I kind of think you are realizing that maybe this person is not the person that you want to be with. Um, I'm seeing double right now. Let me clear it up. It happens sometimes. It does happen. Um, this this could be a Leo that you're wanting to open your energy to and possibly have a new um, relationship with. 
this is about a new partnership but this is about you coming into your own releasing your fears associated with this situation maybe this is about releasing maybe this is about you fearing being making the wrong decision and being by yourself i believe more than anything um open your energy up to this new partnership but make sure you close that other door because I don't, I don't see both of them being open at the same time. I do see you taking a step back and reevaluating the situation to make sure that this is what you want. But spirit is really, you know, concurrent with this situation. You really should open your energy, especially if this is if this is a new relationship. Open your energy. For some of you guys, this is a new opportunity. OK, this is a new job. Open yourself up to this opportunity, because right now it's, it's the cards are leaning more toward you doing that but it's a lot of mental going back and forth with this situation now with the ace of pentacles in the subconscious you you could be thinking about a new opportunity within some resources some abundance um you could be thinking about moving getting a new home leaving i guess somebody leaving um, because they see something better whether it's a job or a relationship with the four swords this is carefully considering your options okay this is you taking time to meditate, but with that Queen of Wands that popped out on top of it, it is time for you to go in a new, in a new direction, Scorpio. It is time for you to move in a new direction. Release whatever feel, fears you have feels. <laughs> Relief, release whatever fears you have and move in a new direction, okay? Be assertive in, in your desires. In the past, we got the Page of Cups, so this can be new. This can be you following your intuition. Um, in regards to a foundation, in regards to a job, this can be a new opportunity with a job, maybe something that you're emotionally connected with. With the Queen of Swords, this talks about maybe you needing to cut something loose, um, maybe something that you had some type of stability in. Got the third ones that popped out. So there is something coming. For some of you guys, it's a new love. For others of you, this is a new opportunity, possibly even a self-employment opportunity or a job that has a lot of financial backing and behind it, like a good, good, good paying job. And I'll tell you, six figure type job. Okay, so we got the full card here in the future energies. This is somebody, ta somebody taking a leap of faith, somebody moving forward with something. Um, this can be new opportunities being presented to you. And these cards that fell out, the Queen of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Emperor, you need to take control of the situation. We got the Six of Swords as an underlying energy. So this is definitely about moving from unsteady, unsure waters to calmer, more stable waters for you calmer more stable situations with queen of pentacles this is about making sensible decisions being practical dealing with what, with whatever you have to deal with within an understanding matter because things are changing this can be you making things change you could be the you know the the factor in what's making these gears turns or this can be spirit moving things for you because there's something that you're needing to do gain some type of control or logic over this situation so that you feel more comfortable okay because i kind of think the fear is it's moving fast and you're unsure. Gain some type of stability. Take some time to meditate. Well, that four of swords, because I pulled it twice. Take some time to meditate. Really clearly think over your options and make the best decision based off not only... Don't don't just think about stability because I'm going to be honest with you. I think this is a situation not about stability, but about maybe you just taking a leap of faith, believing in yourself and believing in your abilities, whether this is a relationship and whether whether this is a relationship, a career, or just spiritually jumping into something. It's about really having faith in yourself right now, Scorpio. So we got the Ace of Cups here, and this is in your position. So this is some type of emotion that you're feeling towards something. This can be a new job. This can be a new home. Um, with the Ten of Wands... I'm going to put this back in here because I don't know if it came reversed or not. And I don't want to just read it and it's supposed to be reversed. Why is this Ace of Cups here? Why is this Ace of Cups here? So the Hangman came out in reverse and the two of pentacles came out in reverse so maybe something that you've been waiting on if you've been working two jobs or dealing with two different situations maybe something that you've been working on is finally going to work its way out with this ace of cups this does talk about something new that you have some type of emotional fulfillment in or something new that will bring some type of emotional fulfillment got the ace of cups again so we're definitely talking about um something that will bring emotions it could be love it could be a relationship i kind of think mm, you need to honor your commitments um or for some of you, it may be you honor your commitments. If this with the Leo, 
If this Leo is a new person, this is about really taking a step forward, okay? With the Knight of Pentacles, this could be you not budging right now because you're afraid, especially with all these fours I've seen. You're, you're stuck with those eights. You're stuck. You're afraid to actually make a move trapped by your own fears. This is this Knight of Pentacles is about really being confident and actually taking those steps. It's a slow-moving energy, don't get me wrong, but it's about actually getting up, handling your responsibilities, and moving forward. So in your surroundings, we got the four of swords. This may be you at a, at a stalemate. You stuck. You unable to make a move right now or something. Why is this four of swords here? This also may be you just taking some time to reevaluate a situation. A love situation for some of you guys. Some of you guys, this is a choice about a job. Um, you may be dealing with the Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo in regards to that situation. I believe Taurus. Um, and maybe for some of you guys, you might be leaving a Taurus. I believe you're leaving a Taurus. And this might be happening in a hurry. Maybe some of you guys, this situation is coming undone, but you guys are not taking notice of this. You may be, like I said, at a stalemate, unable to move because of whatever you have to deal with with this Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, or Leo. It could be any sign. It doesn't, those are just the signs that I see. Okay, with this Seven of Pentacles here, you're at a standstill. And this is your fear. You don't want to be stuck at the standstill. You want things to even themselves out. You want things to kind of level themselves out. But in order for this to happen, you're going to have to release those thoughts, release that unnecessary worry, let go of those negative thoughts so that you can make room for this positivity that's coming your way so that you can actually take that move forward. Because it's here, but you, you're stuck mentally in a situation. You're worrying about the situation. Why is the seven of swords? I mean, why is here? That's the six of swords. You're stuck. Okay, you're stuck with the seven of pentacles here. But this Six of Swords is telling you that it's okay to move forward, okay? You need to embrace what has changed. It is time. With Temperance card right here, this is like whatever you've been waiting on, it's worth waiting for, okay? Even if you still have to wait a little bit longer, it's worth waiting for. But it is coming with this Knight of Cups here. The Justice card here is the outcome. This can be things, a legal issue weighing out in your favor. This can be things, karmic situations, um, evening out, finishing karmic situations, karmic cycles. Um, this could be the Libra that we're dealing with. With the Five of Swords, this can be you... Uh, Okay, so this is you weighing out your, your thoughts. This is you weighing, like, finding some type of balance within your thoughts. Whatever this is, this could be with an Aquarius, but I kind of think this is you hoping that you can move forward. You're really stuck in your head, Scorpio. You really, really are stuck in your head, are stuck in your head, but you are going to make a choice in this situation. Um, you're going to be thinking a lot about this choice. You're going to be trying to figure out whether or not this choice is a good choice for you or not, but I believe it will be a good choice. Um, just take a, a take some time to reevaluate. Make sure that it's what you want. For all of you, this won't be what you want. For all of you, you may stay, stay in the situation that you're in. I'm not saying that it'll get better, but you may stay in the situation that you're in. For some of you, though, you may be waiting a little bit longer, trying to reevaluate, make sure that it's what you want to do. You just really need to release the fears, especially if you're dealing with the Gemini, Leo. Release the fears that are holding you back and move forward with this situation. If this is a job. Definitely move forward with it. Definitely. Because I see a lot of money. All right. So, let's put these up. Let's see what we got in love. What do we have for Scorpio? Mate. Poppers, Scorpio, May 2018, Scorpio, May 2018, all right, so let me read the poppers first, and then we'll get to the read. So for you guys, you got honeymoon. It says enjoy the bliss of the holiday time together. If you and your partner are married, y'all, I'm so sorry. I know my camera's sitting like that. If you and your partner are married, and I'm way up there the whole video, I am so sorry, Scorpio. Y'all video gonna suck. Well, it's good. The content is good, but you don't see like this much on my face. <laughs> Sorry. Um, it says enjoy the bliss of the holiday time together. So this can be you and your partner reconnecting, disconnecting from the world and reconnecting to each other. This can be you and your partner separated by distance or maybe you and the object of your affection separated by distance. Because I do see water in that picture and it's someone that's trying to get to someone else or trying to get somewhere with their mate. This can be a metaphorical trying to go somewhere or focus with your mate as well. We got love yourself first. For some of you guys, you're needing to understand that you need to set some boundaries. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive in whatever situation you're in. 
We got make the effort. It says great love is worth taking the steps that you've been guided to take. For some of you guys, you may be separated from your partner. Right now, you may be in a situation where you're being tested, tempted, whatever it is. Love yourself first, but make the effort on whichever situation you're going to take. Chemistry. It says there's a strong magnetic attraction here. For some of you guys, this person is a new person. Um, this is someone coming in that you were not expecting. For some of you guys, this is a reconnection with your partner. We got let go of control issues. So this is about allowing whatever situation you're in right now Scorpio to unfold however it may let's see what we got okay so at the bottom of the deck we got very soon and literally through your whole read I was saying this you're going to have to make a decision very soon on what it is you want to do who you want to be with whether it's a, and I think in this situation because it's a love read it's about who you want to be with it says clear to decide what you want so that it comes to you now okay so in the center of the read I got romantic feelings this does tell me that someone is um invoking some romantic feelings within you it says your feelings are real and worth exploring let me put my thing on the chart because I don't have no power. Okay, so it says your feelings are real and worth exploring. Why is romantic feelings here? Why is romantic feelings here? Okay. Well, come on, spirit. <laughs> Not so many. Because there's a new opportunity. We'll pull this in a read. This is the Ace of Wands. Something may be coming undone with this new opportunity coming in. This may be the end of a karmic cycle, okay? And the beginning of something new for you. Some of you guys, this person is really invoking some romantic feelings because you and this person may be connected spiritually. And they may be bringing up that your spirit recognizes this person. Put it like that. You can feel when your soul recognizes another soul familiar. So some of you guys, your spirit has recognized this person. And I do see soulmate. So this is definitely someone that you were connected to in a past life. We got passion here as a, as a conflict. I couldn't get the word out. Okay, so it says, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Why is passion here? This can be a twin flame situation that you're being... Um, and I'm getting twin flame because I see angels on this with passion. We're talking about soulmate situations. I kind of believe this is a twin flame situation. And now it's like, fuck, because you are may already be communicating or in a relationship with somebody else. We got the queen of cups. So this so let's talk about nurturing yourself, making time for those around you with that passion. Um, passionate Scorpio, this is you needing to take care of yourself. Um because I got the death card on top of that. That's you needing to take care of yourself and move, in new, and move in a new direction, Scorpio. This is you needing to take care of yourself and move in a new direction. Maybe you need to leave a toxic relationship. Um, and maybe that's a gift that you're receiving right now from, from the universe. Maybe you've been in a toxic relationship or you've been in a relationship that has not been fit for you. And you've been dealing with it, being faithful, loyal to the situation. And for some of you guys, you may be getting a reward. For others of you, it is just time for you to meet the person that you're meant to be with or another karmic relationship so that you can learn the lessons you need to learn to grow. In the... In the crowning energy i don't know what's wrong with my head right now and the crowning energy i know it's wrong because i got all these messages in here and i'm trying to do human stuff too <laughs> it says it is safe for you to love open your heart and give and receive open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all why is it is safe for you to love here you guys are afraid you're stuck right now, especially with that four swords there. You guys are stuck, okay? You're afraid of happiness. Maybe you're afraid. I don't think you're afraid of happiness. Let me rephrase myself. You're not afraid of happiness, but you're afraid to move on and be happy with someone else, okay? And maybe because you are you got your guard up, you're not sure if this person is um, the right person, but literally you got, it is safe for you to love. So this is about opening yourself up to receive whatever it is that you've been praying for, Scorpio. We got pay attention to the red flags. For some of you, this is your subconscious. So some of you are seeing flags that are not there. Or maybe some of you just need to pay attention to your dreams. Because maybe you're being sent signals. The star card, you could be being sent signals right now. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You guys know this. And I'm not saying you know like, you know, no. But you feel in your heart that this person is the person that you need to be connecting with we got the star card here this could be an aquarius but i, I kind of think this is like you hoping that you can take this leap of faith with this new love relationship the temperance card this is a spiritual relationship y'all see this 
this is soulmate relationship right here, okay? This is soulmate energy right here. Whoever this new person is that's on your mind, this could be a Sagittarius we're talking about, um, could be a Gemini, we're, I mean, an Aquarius we're talking about, a Gemini we're talking about. I can't, I, it don't matter what the sign is. These cards are soulmate signs. It does not mean that you and this person are meant to be together. It does not mean that you'll be together forever, but it does mean that you are, you and this person are spiritually connected and there may be something that you need to learn from each other. Okay. Let's get all up in here with that. <laughs> all right. So in the past, we got to keep an open mind. This person may be different than anything you've ever dealt with before. We could be having, we could be dealing with a cancer for some of you guys, or this can be an indication to move forward with this situation. Um, with keep an open mind, it says your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Why well, is keep an open mind here? Okay, so some of you guys were waiting for some type of sign. Okay, this could be an Aries they were talking about. Maybe you guys were waiting for someone to um, basically tell you, okay? You were waiting for someone to tell you that this was the person that um, you were meant to be with. But that's not the way it happens. You have to you have to go by what you feel. This can be where you're finding some type of balance. Um, like I said, for some of you guys, this is an Aries, but I kind of think this is you. Maybe you just needed to take control of the situation a little bit more, find some type of structure in it. With the high priestess, this is about knowing. So maybe you just need to follow your intuition and wait for some type of structure or wait for some type of... This could be a legal thing right here, too. This can be a judge. So maybe you're waiting for some situation to end so that you can move forward. With hard talk conversations, this is about really expressing your feelings feelings <laughs> with each other. This is about really talking about what it is that you feel with the tower card. This is some type of it, this is some type of actualization. Like in order for this to take form, in order for you to find what you're looking for, in order to end this third party situation, ah, this is what it is. You're going to have to be honest. It's not it's not in order, in order, in order. No, no, no. I should have waited till my cards came out. Okay, so this is definitely a karmic cycle that you're dealing with and you are going to have to tell the truth. You're going to have to hurt some feelings and you're going to have to be honest about your emotions. Okay. With this tower card here, you're going to have to tell the truth or it's going to come out and somebody's going to walk away from the situation. If this is not you in a third party situation, your partner's in a third party situation and maybe through heart to heart conversations, you'll find out about this and you might walk away and leave this third party situation or this or maybe you'll leave because I don't think it's a third party situation. Maybe when you discuss with your partner how you feel, even if it, I don't think this is a third party situation because this is the only three I've got. This may be you really speaking with your partner, telling them how you feel, whoever it is that you're needed to talk to, whether it's your partner, your, your, I don't want to say that, your partner, the person that you're having sex with, like whoever this is that you're needed to walk away from, maybe once you walk away from this person, you'll have a reason to celebrate and this energy will come in very, very fast, okay? So, I go they go to rest my cards. I was like, where are the rest of my cards? So, in your position right now, Scorpio, we got release your ex. And this is in your position, so this is what you need to do. It says the time has come to clear your energy. Why is release your ex? And whoever that new energy coming in, this is definitely um, so many energy. I got the nine of cups under that, so that's a true love type of situation. With the seven of pentacles here and this two of pentacles that, that um, popped out of here, some of you guys are worried about how you're going to do this, how you're going to come up with this, um, this balance. Maybe you're worried that if you leave this person, your life will be out of balance. Maybe they are taking care of you with the Ten of Pentacles. This could be some money associated with that as well. So that may be why you're either thinking about juggling. Don't juggle, okay? Don't juggle. We got the Seven of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, and this Devil card. So this can be a, a very bad connection that you're juggling because you're afraid to let something loose. You're stuck at a, at a, at a crossroads right now. So this could be a third-party situation for some of you guys. For some of you guys, you're just thinking about this person. But... It feels like a third party situation because you're connected to someone else. We got soulmate. It says this. This is your soulmate. And this is in your surroundings. So why is this soulmate here? Okay. I pulled the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. So this does have some type. The Ten of Pentacles is about emotional and material fulfillment so this is like having all your needs met okay everything family situations everything all your needs met in this ace of swords maybe you'll see this within this person maybe and we got the empress card under here so this is definitely something new starting something very powerful starting with you and this person but maybe you'll see the clarity in the situation once you end the cycle that you need to end scorpio with it with express your love here and this is in your hopes and dreams you're hoping that you can really go ahead and make the romantic gesture like you can really go ahead and express how you feel to this person 
this five of pentacles you're feeling left out in the cold you're feeling heartbroken about this situation maybe you just need to express how you feel i definitely see somebody heartbroken a lot of challenges with starting this um just tell how you feel you're unhappy some of you guys may be unhappy i'm seeing because maybe you lost a child maybe a miscarriage or something like that and that may be where the disconnect happened um i'm not sure but you're not happy with the situation that you're in you're not happy with the connection that you're in so you need to express that and the outcome you'll be able to heal past this you can forgive whoever you need to forgive there'll be a new opportunity i mean a new foundation offered to you but you have to heal whatever issues you have and let go of that negativity i think this is the second time look Scorpio, you are in a karmic cycle, Scorpio. In the karmic cycle that you're in, you're, look, your time is up. Y'all have completed whatever cycle y'all need to complete. It is time to move on, Scorpio. We got healing family issues. Let go of that negativity. Let go of whatever you're holding on because it is holding you back right now. You have a brand new cycle starting. You have someone that's willing to come in and offer you a whole new foundation. Make sure all your material and emotional needs are met. We got the Ace of Cups under here. You need to let go of whatever you need to let go so that you can get what is meant for you, Scorpio. So let's put this up. Let's see what guidance we got. What? First two cards I got is going outside. It says you have been indoors for too long. Go outside and get some fresh air. We also got blossoming. It says you are just getting started, so have patience with yourself, the process, and do not give up. We got easy does it as an underlying energy. So this does tell you that there's no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything will happen in perfect timing. What other? So we got past life and true love. Golden opportunity, focus, intention, high priestess, purification, and bodies of water. So you guys definitely need to get outside. You definitely need to get some fresh air. Clear your head. You may be clogged up in, in, in a house or in a... Wherever you're at is full of energy. And it may be full of the other person's energy or just full of negative energy. You need to remove yourself from that situation for a minute so that you can get some clear energy, clear your head, think through things like actually think if you got to get a pen and piece of paper and write down whatever thought comes to your head think things through so that you can make these necessary moves to get this ball rolling in your court we got blossoming here it says you are just getting started so have patience with yourself the process and do not give up we got true love it says the romantic stirs in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you coupled with this past life this is definitely a soulmate situation okay true love twin flame situation lucky 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 we got golden opportunity it says important doors are opening for you right now walk through them we got focused intention it says keep your unwavering thoughts feelings and actions focused on your target and you will make your mark you remember when I told you that you guys are um, needing to release some energy? There's a lot of negativity around you. You got purification, okay? It says, it's time for a cleansing detoxification of your body and mind. We also pull high priestess. It says you have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teaching. So this is about really expressing your thoughts, really letting those messages come through so you can take notice to them, Scorpio, and really understanding that right now you're in the middle of a, I mean, you're at the end of whatever cycle you need to be at. You're about to get into something greater. You have got to let whatever you need to let go, Scorpio, so that you can move forward. I love y'all. Have a good night.